Sorry that the other video was cut short. So, but this is your fifth tutorial on building APIs with uh, Laravel Lumen. This is my Lumen folder, and uh, this is where we were in the other video where we edited this file. And then uh, we open this folder. What we will do here is to open a command uh, prompt from here. So, I'll hold my Shift key and uh, right click. So this right click looks like the other right click where you just right click directly but with the shift key and this right click it provides me the option of opening a command window here. So now the command window is open. I will run uh, a command which is php artisan make migration create stable. Oh, this is to create a post stable on my database. If you've been coding Laravel before this won't look um, this will look very uh, familiar to you. But if you've not been coding Laravel, this is a Laravel um, command for creating um, migration. A migration is a file where you go basically to create your database fields. And when you run a migration from command line, it simply the application simply goes to your database, which could be your PHP mapping or MySQL, goes to your MySQL and creates the tables that you want. So you, you will see the process as we go along. So but just copy this exactly then hit enter and then wait a few seconds and the migration file is created so if if you encounter this problem you have to come and um, re resolve it by go to going to your um, lumen folder go to your dot n file this particular setup is what is causing that problem so you have to overwrite it with this new setup where you set the cache driver to um, array session driver to cookie and queue driver to array again and then you rerun the the command again so you don't have to retype it there's the up arrow key on your keyboard the, the cursor key is the up arrow key if you press it once it will show you the last command you try to write run then you hit enter and it runs again as you can see above mine now runs well so it has created a file called 2017 dollar create table posts so if i go to my migrations file um look at my folder if i go to database and uh, inside database there are three folders factories migration seeds if i click on on migrations i have this file that has been created for me so uh, this file is basically about um basically created these posts so this is about post stable so uh, we're trying to create a post stable on a database so this is where we create it when we run our migrations because we have already told lumen um, the, the database we're using when we run our migrations it will quickly um, update that field all right so we're going to create more fields here i'm going to call these uh when somebody is, we are building a blog, you know, so when somebody is making a post, they will have to put a title. So the title is string, and uh, the name of the field is title. And the title is um, not nullable, okay? It cannot be empty. And the body, the body is text because there will be a lot of content in the body. And um, we can call it body. And uh, what else? User ID. So we can say um, we can update the user ID later just for a very slim um, content. What else are we going to put in the blog post? We're going to put the number of views, okay? So number of views is an integer. So we can track how many times it has been viewed. And the uh, integer, we can call it views or hits. We can call it views, all right? And uh, the views is um, nullable. All right. Um, you can read more about this in Laravel documentation to know um, how I knew all this and what other things you can um, extend in it. So I can just put this nullable, nullable, because um, it's not all the time. I don't want to have an error if the views uh, wasn't updated at the same time of creation. And then if we want to bring down this table, this is already there for us. So this looks really great for us so far so let's um, migrate this when we migrate it it will create automatically in the database but before then let me show you the database 
So this is my PHP, my admin, depending on, uh, this, that's what I use to manage my um, databases. You could be using any other software like MySQL Yog and stuff, or MySQL Workbench. So this is my database called Lumen Blog, and you can see there are no tables in this database. So when we come to our, our, our command line, we can say uh, PHP artisan migrate. And we hit enter and we wait for it and it does the migration as you can see created uh, tables and stuff like that and um, if I refresh this page or just click on structure one more time I see that it has created two tables one migrations and one posts remember it's posts that we created and remember to uh, let's compare what we have here with what we have there in post we have ID we have title we have body and we have views so if we come here we check out and we see um yeah i have id title body views created and updated and these two fields were created by uh, this last timestamp which is cool for us isn't it so the next thing we're going to look at let us quickly create our um a model you understand and if you try to the php the complete php artisan command uh is not available in lumen so if you try to create do something like this php artisan make model post like you would do in laravel normally it won't work so you have to manually create your model so we are going to go to our http app um right here where there is user php we can just create a new file and uh, we'll, we'll paste our model um, code here and of course you can go to um, your Laravel previous Laravel applications copy a sample code for a new model and paste here which is what I'm going to do so there you have it I right click and I paste and I have um, you can manually type this out honestly so I just pasted it post uh, my posts model extends model fillable these are the things i expect um the clients to be able to uh, feel so which i have where i have title body and the uh, number of views eventually when we expand this we'll have user id and stuff like that all right so i'm going to save this by um right clicking and uh, control s so it will ask me to save it here i'll name it capital letter post dot php um, that's how laravel names models it has to be um, starting with a capital letter and it has to be the singular right so i click save and uh, there we have it so look at it here so now we have a model the next thing you want to create is the controller so we will go to um, http controllers and then we create a posts controller so as you can see they give us an example controller which looks which looks amazing so here in the controller I'll right click new file and uh, I'll control s to save it so I'll call it posts that's plural controller.php so that's how it is named in uh, in Laravel uh, sometimes it can be singular sometimes it's plural so for me I prefer naming my controllers to be plural so post controller and uh, we've had it here so we have to paste the code we need to write here so um, here we are so I have pasted the um, controller for cars and this controller simply basically uh, does uh, just a handful of things so this one creates a new controller a, a new post new post I will explain them one by one, don't worry. So this one updates post and um, this one deletes the post. And of course, this one lists all posts. So um, interesting, isn't it? So now we have this uh, post controller extends controller so uh, what happens is this one receives a post request to um, 
create a new post so whatever is being sent it creates it then it, it returns json of whatever post that was created it sends it back to the uh, whoever is making the request in json format so this one also updates post it, it receives id and then in the id it finds the post then of course it updates the post with save then it returns the post it just updated in json format and um, this one deletes post find the post using the id and delete it then a return a json from json message saying removed successfully we can better format this message by calling it um, adding extra uh, fields to it or parameters to it this one uh, when it's called it just lists all posts so there we go and uh, if you were coding laravel you would have noticed that there is only one difference between the way this function handles things uh, and the way laravel handles this one is just returning response.json response JSON, all right you can actually if you do exactly this inside your laravel uh, controller you automatically have an api uh, well almost automatically instead of returning view in your laravel if you return this uh, your library can serve as an API uh, platform if you can return JSON. All right, uh, that settles us for this particular section. In the next uh, section, I'm scrolling through so that you can code this. I will upload this on GitHub. And uh, here's my GitHub URL. GitHub.com slash Dave. So if you go there, you will find this particular code in case you need to just copy it. All right. So thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial as we continue to build our API.